It's only one of the truth, y'all. Y'all know I had to come in here and holler at y'all, man, to get on my silly shit today. It's only one of the truth, man. What's good with y'all? How y'all feeling? I'm feeling good, man. It's Gemini Nation, man. You hear me? Gemini Gang. We in here. Hashtag FK Cancer. I'm alive, bro. That's why I stay smiling. That's why I don't let nothing bother me, man. LA Truth in this mug. Huh? La Truth. Yeah. Y'all better be dancing with me, man. What y'all on today, man? Uh. I need y'all to talk about y'all testimonies, man. Everybody got a testimony I know, man. Y'all know my testimony, man. I've been surviving cancer for a long time. Uh. Yeah. If your energy ain't like this right here, if your energy ain't like this when you survive a certain type of battle, man, what's wrong with you? It's only one the truth. That's all I'm going to tell y'all, bro. Y'all don't know what it's like. Y'all don't know what it's like. Y'all don't know what it's like, man, to be a Gemini and have to go through a lot of things that I done went through, man. Yeah. I lost my mother when I was five years old to stomach cancer. That's what this tattoo is for, man. It's not just for me. It's not just for my stomach. I lost my sister. Hmm. I lost my sister to the same stomach cancer. I lost my stomach to the same stomach cancer. And I'm alive to tell my story. I miss you, mama. I miss you, Tam. Y'all don't know what it's like, man. It ain't nothing but the truth. That's it, it's only one the truth. It's only one the truth. Huh? Come with me. Hail Mary nigga, run quick, see. What do we have here now? Do you want, come on, LA Truth in this world, man, y'all better stop playing, man. What the energy at? Huh? What we doing? What we doing? Cancer free, man. To all my cancer survivors around the world, man, salute, man. I love every one of y'all. To everybody we lost to cancer, man, we pray, man. We pray, we pray, we pray. Everybody has been affected at some point with cancer. Different types of cancers all over the world. What do cancer come from? From the foods that we eat. From smoking. From the environment. Stress kills too, man. Make sure your situation is clean, man. Make sure you stay away from anything toxic. Toxicity causes cancer. All forms of cancer. All we talk about is marijuana, man. All we talk about is smoking cigarettes. All we talk about is those things. All we talk about is the meats. All we talk about is the poisons of the world that cause cancer. But, man, listen to me. Toxicity, man. Ne negativity. Being around people who negative all the day, being toxic and stressing you out, man. Those type of things cause cancer, too. Yeah, know that. Know that. Make sure you're in a peaceful environment, man. Make sure you're in a positive environment, man. Because I know being stressful, being around toxicity was a big part of me having cancer. I know that for a fact. Because ever since I've been peaceful, ever since I've been stress-free, I've been feeling like a warrior. Y'all see the build up, man. Stop playing with me, man. Y'all gonna make me come out my shirt. It's only one of the truth, man. I see a lot of y'all keep talking about Tupac. Tupac this, Tupac that. Yeah, we both Geminis, most definitely. We both rappers, we both actors, but at the end of the day, man, it's all about that positivity movement, man. What we talking about? What we talking about? You know what, when I was in that hospital, man, laying on my back, cut open, with my stomach being removed, I walked the same night. I got up out that bed and went to the bathroom the same night, right when my stomach was took out. You feel me? You feel me? To all my stomachless people around the world, man, my prayers go up to you. I get a lot of messages from people who had their stomach removed and they still going through it and they've been going through it for years with that stomach removal. Understand, man, we can still live without a stomach, but we gotta still be healthy. I'm able to believe and I know for sure God sent the right people in my life. Yeah, I didn't just sit around. When I got diagnosed with cancer, I started fighting more than I ever did in my life. Yeah, I took my life into my own hands with the prayer and the faith. 
You understand me? I juice them fruits and vegetables five straight months. I ain't eat no sugars. I ain't eat no meats. I ain't eat none of that, man. And I knew from the faith, I knew it. I said, I'm going to win this battle. I said, can't nothing stop me and nothing stop me. And that's what I've been saying my whole entire life. Can't nothing stop me. Yeah. Yeah. It's only one of the truth out here, man. I be seeing y'all comments, man, but I'm focused on the positivity. It's a positivity movement right here. And I ain't even got my back done yet, man. I'm going to get something put on my back, man. Only the strong survive. Only the strong survive. Only the strong survive. God give his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers, and I'm one of them. Yeah, I'm lit. I'm lit off life. I'm lit off life. This ain't no alcohol. This ain't no smoke. This ain't nothing. I'm lit off of life. You would be too. If you went through what I went through and you still able to stand around and look like this and feel good and continue to keep receiving the blessings. See, the problem is y'all be on social media worrying about the likes. Y'all counting the likes, the comments. and Man, I count the blessings. I'm a survivor. I count the blessings. And you got to count the lessons too. We all done went through some stuff. You got to count the lessons. When you go through something and you come out stronger than you ever you got to count, you got you to gotta be thankful for the lessons. Because without the lessons, you don't get the blessings. And you got to move with logic, man. You got to move with self-control. That's how you got to move, man. There's too many people out here behind bars right now over what somebody said, bro. Picture yourself being behind bars away from your kids over what somebody said, bro. Not me. You can say what you want to say about me. One thing you gonna say, you ain't gonna be able to say about the truth. You ain't gonna be able to say the truth is a quitter. You ain't gonna be able to say the truth ain't self, man. You can't say the truth, don't go get to it. That's something you ain't gonna never be able to say about the truth. The truth is a survivor. Self-control is what we all need, man. Like I said, there's too many people behind them bars right now over what somebody said, bro. Can you picture that? Somebody saying something that made you so mad that you threw your life away over what somebody said about you, bro? Nah. Keep walking in your truth. Remain who you are. Don't be worried about the people's opinions. Walk in your truth. And understand, you got one life to live. And I ain't mad at you. I see a lot of y'all be talking crazy in my comments, talking about me, and y'all don't even know me in real life. How y'all gonna tell me what I need and you don't even know me like that, huh? You feel me? But we all need love. That's the one thing we can say. We all need love, so why don't we just all give people love? That's the one thing we all need. Show love to everybody. If you want to help somebody, give them some love. That's the one thing you know everybody need is love. If I'm lying. I ain't even got to finish that. New dance. Put the guns up. <laughs> if y'all ain't happy like this, I can't help you be happy. This, this got to come from you. Self-love is the best love. I love me some me. If you don't love you like that, man, I don't know what to say, man. My prayers go out to everybody going through something right now, man. It's love. The truth love you if nobody else don't. But all I'm saying, man, the one thing y'all know a brother need like me, y'all seen everything I've been going through, I need some love, man. That's it. It ain't nothing else I need. I just need love. That's it. All that hater stuff is cool. That's the fuel, man. It keeps me going. That hater stuff keep me moving. It keep me moving, keep me grooving. But the love is all I need, bro. The love. We all need that, right? Looking good and healthy. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's only one the truth. That's all I'm going to say. It's only one the truth. So y'all can chill with all that Tupac stuff, man. Y'all can chill with all that Tupac stuff, man. I died when I was on that emergency bed, bro. Anybody who's went through that anesthesia and been knocked out for over five to six hours, 
you know you die. You don't even know where you at. You don't even know what's going on around you when you go through them type of surgeries. And I'm not the only one who went through it. I'm not the only cancer survivor. But if I'm the only one talking about it, it don't matter. It's my testimony and I'm going to continue to talk about it. Because I want to save anybody else that's going to go through the same thing. Cancer is one of those things that a lot of people going to go through. So I just want y'all to be smiling just like how I did. I just want y'all to be confident just like how I was. You feel me? Because when you go into it with confidence and faith, you're going to come out on top every time. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Hold on. I've been waiting for this moment a long time. Hold on. Hold on. It's only one the truth. It's only one the truth. It's only one the truth. That's all we, I need everybody to say that. I need y'all to share this live and say it's only one the truth. Shout out to Tom. Shout out to Toy Nika Gaines. You a cancer survivor. If you a cancer survivor, I need y'all to comment right now. It's my testimony. I'm going to continue to talk about it. Thank you. Thank you, Pharaoh. I know I'm the best. I know I'm the best dancer alive, too. I know. Can't nobody outdance me, man. I do a lot of stuff well. I love y'all, man. <laughs> I love y'all, man. Yeah. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Hold on. I've been waiting on this moment a long night. Hold on. Oh, see, them other content creators don't get on here and entertain y'all like that, man. I be getting in my element, bro. I be getting in my element, man. Said I could have been. Thank y'all so much, ladies. I see it's a lot of support here, man. Appreciate the love. But I'll be right back, man. Because while I'm in here, man, you know, I got to do something constructive. I'm going to show y'all about this health as well stuff. Give me a second. Hey. I'm coming back, give me a sec, give me a sec. To my uncle and child. Health as well. Don't forget that. <clears throat> Don't worry about what nobody say about me. God got me. You only got one life to live, man. You might as well live it. You might as well be as healthy as you can be. Take care of yourself. Health is, health, health is the most important thing. Health is the most important thing. Because without help, we ain't got nothing else, man. <clears throat> mm. All eyes on me. All eyes on me, like I'm the truth. <sighs> mm. Let's go. Let's go, y'all counting? 
Y'all count these repetitions. Ah, uh, let's go. Got the hiccups. Uh. Let's go. Only one the truth. Don't forget that. It's only one person. It's only one person with this story I got. Uh, no. Yeah, get out of me. That's for the haters. Get them out of here. Get them out. Get, 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 get the haters up out of here. You feel me? Let's get, get the haters. The haters up out of here. I see them, but I see the love too, man. It's a lot of beautiful women in here, man. What's good? I appreciate y'all. Hey, if you scared of love, Keisha, I don't know what to say. Ain't nothing but love over here. Help as well. That's all that is. You know what I'm saying? You've been watching boxing your whole life on the TV screen. You feel me? That ain't if you if you afraid of that, I don't know what to say to you. All eyes on. All my. Uh, this is my A ambition. Niggas should stop bitching. Talking to the cops, y'all really should stop snitching. All of these belligerent, ignorant folks mimicking that thing like they the generals, throwing them fake subliminals. I'ma put it into you. Hollow points into you. Put them in the wheelchair. Fucking dismember you. Saying you the king, gonna get your send the sling and get my send the bing. I know you gon' sing. Wise on your chest, trying to set it up the AR, not far. When I spray, you better duck. Haze jar in the car, about to blaze it in the dust. By the time the blunt gone, you see the hater in the dust. The razor in his gut, cause he thought he was a clone. Animated bitch, more like a cartoon. Who the f want war with the human gun store? I will hit him with the Ruger, leave him on his front porch. Yeah. I can give him drama all sorts with the llama to his bog and have him leaking that quartz of blood. Nick been hating on my, cause I'm hate to be the judge. <laughs> Y'all know I just be on here styling, man. What's good, though? L.A. Troop back in the booth, killing him softly. L.A. Troop, the general, I'm a, I don't know what I'm going to say, man. You love to see progress, and I appreciate it, man. Me too. That's why I work so hard. No days off. Huh. Let's go. It's the energy. <laughs> ah, 
Yo, these comments be funny, man. Y'all some comedians for real. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? Where y'all from? I don't look like Tupac, man. What are you talking about? What you mean I really think I don't look like Tupac, bro? Tupac didn't have no... Tupac was not this sexy. I don't give... I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what y'all... Tupac did not look this good. I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. Y'all better stop playing, man. I got some real supporters and some real fans that say I look better than Tupac. So for y'all just keep coming in here talking about you don't look like you wish. No, I wish I looked like me. I look like the truth. What are you talking about? We're gonna stop. We're gonna stop all that hating that we be doing. We're gonna stop all that hating that we be doing as a black culture. I wish I looked like too. Man, do you see how fine I am, man? Why would I want to look like another man? Why would I want to look like man? I'm fine like this. What the I don't want to look like no no Tupac. I look like me. I look like me. I'm proud to look like this right here, the truth. What are you talking about? Y'all better stop playing with me thinking I want. Why would I want to look like Tupac when I'm fine like this? I'm the truth. Handsome black man. Stop playing with me, man. Y'all y'all better take that somewhere else. That ain't going to work over here. It's big energy over here. It's, it's big stepper over here in real life. Y'all know what it is. But I ain't mad at y'all. It's cool. We used to be like kids cussing. Fighting, playing, cussing out the neighborhood, rushing. No, but it wasn't. I ain't mad at you. I know I look better. Thank you, Queen. I appreciate it. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at ya. I ain't mad at ya. No, I ain't mad at ya. I ain't mad at ya. No, I ain't mad at ya. I ain't mad at you. It's one the truth. That's all we need to know. It's one the truth. I ain't put Tupac down. Tupac wanted the goats of the music. Tupac wanted the goats, man. Tupac was doing this before me right now, man. If Tupac was alive right now, Tupac would be what? About 60 something? How old would Pac be right now if he was alive? Paying homage to Tupac. Tupac was the GOAT. You understand me? I just said that he don't look better than me. That's all I said. That's all I said. Can I, I can be honest. If I say Tupac don't look better than me, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. If you feel like it's the other way around, that's cool. That's how you feel, and that's cool. But I ain't putting Tupac down by saying that I look better than Tupac because I'm a handsome brother. You understand me? Two black kings, man. We did it. I'm doing it. Tupac did it. And I'm doing it. We ain't going to discredit another mob. We not going to do that. That's not what we doing right here. We not going to discredit Pac. Pac is a goat. Pac laid the foundation down. If Pac never rap, I might not be rapping. If, top, if Pac never entertained, I might not be doing it. See, that's the problem with a lot of y'all. Give Pay homage to the people who did it before y'all. I can get on here and talk about Pac daily. You know, the fact people say I look like Tupac is the only reason why I keep talking about it. I've been coming on here telling y'all I don't look like Tupac for, for so long. And I still got to keep saying I don't look like Tupac. No disrespect to Pac. Pac was a genius. Pac was a goat, just like me and him both. We goats, we creators. We come up with so much stuff. We innovators. We got a whole culture doing things, man. I came into the social media game and I got everybody creating content. I've been doing this on here for a long time. And I love it seeing people motivated and doing the same thing. You said not 60. I don't know. I just know Pop. Whenever I was a kid, I was watching Pop. That's all I know. I just know Pop would have been older than me. But see, where people are fooled at about Tupac, where people are fooled at about Tupac, y'all don't realize Tupac was 26, man. It's sad that Tupac went out at that young age. 
I wish Pac was still alive. I know Pac would still be. Pac would be on Facebook just like how Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg is on Facebook and Instagram and all these sites. Tupac would be on here doing the exact same thing right now, speaking knowledge, trying to wake people up. And it would be people in his comments, just like how y'all be in my comments right now. It would be haters in the comments mad at Tupac right now if Tupac was alive. So let's stop acting like we don't know what's up, man. When social media came out, everybody that was popping before got on social media. Go to Instagram. You see Snoop Dogg and them on there actively. Why? Because it's money on Instagram. It's money on Facebook. It's money on YouTube. Why do y'all think artists going to stop doing that, man? Because, you know, at the end of the day, an artist is only as hot as, he, as the label is going to push him to make him be. There's so many different people who was on and was popping back in them days that was backed by major labels where they was putting millions of dollars behind their projects. But y'all be sitting back talking about, oh, you will never be another Pac. You will never be another Big. You will never be another whatever it is. This is what y'all be saying, but y'all don't understand that this stuff be pushed by the record labels. I've been able to be consistent and I've been able to be relative, relative, relevant. I've been able to be relevant for all of these years without a label. Without a label putting millions of dollars behind my stuff, man. The truth, man, y'all better stop playing with my name, bro. I've been relevant for all these years without a label putting that money behind me. I put it on myself. I bet on me. So that's why I tell y'all, bet on y'all selves, man, and watch what happened. I ain't never going to stop. I'm going to keep pushing. I ain't worried about the criticism. The criticism going to come. A lot of y'all still in square one because y'all worried about the criticism, man. Get out. Man, get out that box, man. Go do you. Stop worrying about people trying to criticize you, man. Do you. I'm going to do me. I don't give a damn what nobody say about me. I'm going to do me. Y'all can have any type of, y'all can have whatever conversations y'all want to have. Because when it's about me, I'm winning regardless. You understand me? I do me. That's the problem with y'all. Y'all want to do it for everybody else. No, I do me. I do it for me. It's cool. Y'all can have y'all opinions. You was born with that. You got that right to talk. Bump them gums. Type, use them fingers. You got that right to do that. But guess what? It ain't going to stop me. The truth going to continue to do what he do. I ain't worried about no opinions because we all got those. The first time I come on your platform with my opinion and you stop, that's on you. That means I won. If my opinion can make you stop doing what you're doing, you a loser. Straight like that. If what I think about what you're doing can stop you from doing what you're doing, you are a loser. I said it. And that's the reason why as Gemini's, a lot of people don't like us like that because we keep it a bean. It ain't nothing y'all can come on my platform and say and stop what I'm doing. The movement going to continue because why? I'm me. It's in me, not on me. It's in me. And can't nobody take that. Can't nobody stop that. You understand me? So keep your opinions. You feel me? Keep your opinions about me. I know who I am. I know how I feel about me. So it don't matter what you think about me. And understand that I'm telling y'all this. So make sure when somebody say something to you, I don't give a damn if it's me. I don't care if Jay-Z came on your platform and told you, stop doing what you're doing. You corny. If Beyonce told you that you corny and you stop, that means you ain't nothing. If you can allow somebody's opinion to stop you from doing what you're doing, that speaks volumes about you, not a person about the person who gave the opinion. They just doing what they came to do. Your opinion to me means absolutely nothing. Especially if it's trying to tell me that I can't do something. Now, if you, if you came over here to inspire me, to uplift me, your opinion matters to me. But if you came over here to tear me down and destroy me and take any type of peace away from me, fuck your opinion. It's straight like that. I'm just being honest. Because I know who I am. And y'all need to know who y'all are. Like I said, no matter who that person is, if they come to your platform, no matter how much respect you got for them. Now, unless they trying to tell you the right thing, unless they telling you the right thing, but if it's honing in on your craft, if your craft is do whatever it is you're trying to do for a living and you ain't hurting nobody, if what you're doing ain't hurting nobody, man, damn what people talking about, damn their opinions. Straight like that. Y'all know when I turn this thing on, I'm going to come in here and give y'all some real insight. How many of y'all sitting around right now gave up on something because somebody told y'all something? Because somebody said you can't do it. If you know that you can do it, prove it. You understand me? Prove it. Don't prove it to me. Prove it to you. Whatever you feel like you can do, don't prove it to me. Prove it to you. Prove it to yourself that you can do it. That's why I get on here all the time and I tell y'all my only competition is me. I ain't competing with nobody else for what? I done seen every level. Why am I competing with you? I'm competing with me. 
Whatever I done done, I'm competing to do outdo me. I'm trying to outdo myself. I ain't worried about what nobody else got going on. That's a lot of y'all. Y'all y'all sit back and page watch, and y'all watch where somebody else is at, and y'all feel like y'all ain't doing nothing because y'all not right there where they at. No, focus on your movements. Watch where you at. Outdo you. If you can outdo you, that's all that matters, man. Stop comparing yourself to other people. I don't compare myself to nobody because you know what? I'm the truth, and it's only one the truth. It's only one of me. Yes, I've motivated and inspired a lot of people to do exactly what I do. You feel me? I got a lot of people out here doing exactly what I do, but it's still only one of the truth. That's why I don't have a problem when I'm putting people on. I don't have a problem sharing my aura with somebody else. Why? Because I'm comfortable with who I am, and I'm only competing with me. I want to see everybody be able to win and be successful, but you got to want that for you. If you don't want it for you, how you gonna have, how's it going to happen for you? If you don't want to be successful for you, how are you going to make it happen? You got my blessing. I want to see everybody win. You understand? It's only one of the truth. Not yet. Have y'all, man, y'all see me coming on this thing, man. I speak. I, I respond to the people. I show love to the people. When I'm outside, I show love to everybody. People that come up on me, I show love to everybody. I don't feel like I'm better than nobody else. I show love to people. You feel me? It's only one of the truth. You feel me? Appreciate the love, Candy. It's a lot of beautiful women in here showing love, man. I'm single, too. Shit. Y'all better stop flirting with me like that. I'm single. Y'all better stop flirting with me like that, ladies. Like I said, it's only one of the truth. And it's a lot of y'all flirting. It's only one of me. You understand me? Understand that. It's only one of the truth. I see a lot of y'all flirting. And I, a lot of y'all attractive, too. I see you. I, that wink for all y'all. For all y'all beautiful women. For all y'all. <laughs> you understand me? That's it, man. That's all I do is speak the truth, man. That's what I've been doing for years. You dig? So it, it's all good, man. And I wish everybody nothing but the best, man. Don't ever stop. Man, your weight up. Your weight up. So y'all, what y'all trying to tell me? Y'all trying to say I'm getting fat? I can pull a little, couple little rolls off now, you know? I've been, I've been eating good. I've been working out. I've been peaceful. I'm stress-free. Stress will make you look like a crackhead too, man. Y'all better understand that. Being stressed out can make you look like a crackhead. You feel me? But that don't mean that you are a crackhead. You understand me? If you eating healthy and stop thinking because a person is skinny or something that there's something wrong with them, man. That don't always mean that, man. Sometimes people just lose weight because they wanted to lose weight. Like me. I lost all that weight because I wanted to, but the stress did definitely make me look or be even more smaller and malnourished because stress will do that for you. That's why a lot of times y'all see people in marriages and relationships and they break up and, some, and the person start getting skinny. That comes from stress. When you see a person getting skinnier after a breakup, that comes from stress. When you see a person start getting beefier, like how y'all see me getting beefier, that comes from happiness and peace. You understand me? Stress will make your body a complete mess. Stress will make your health a complete mess. You understand me? I need y'all to understand that, man. That's all I'm saying. Now, let me get back to my workout. I had to rest a little bit. Uh, now I can rest my vocal cords. Uh. 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 Y'all count them out for me, man. Ladies, let me see y'all count down that for me, man. How many is that? That's, that's, that's seven. Eight. Count them out for me. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Shed alive. 12, 13, count them out, 14, 15, hit the share, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 of them things, man. And I'm going to get back to regularly scheduled programming. But let's take a quick second to get everybody to share this live, man. Everybody hit the share. Share the live, share the live, share the live. I'm going to sit here and watch, man, and see who comment. After y'all share, after y'all share, comment, I'm going to shout y'all name out. It's going to tell me if you share it. It's going to be a share sign by your name. And when I see it, I'm going to shout your name out. So take this time right now. If you got to exit real quick to hit the share button, share the live, but put in the caption, it's only one the truth.
Y'all take a picture of this and put this on y'all page. Say it's only one of the truth. Got to show them the smile. The smile make them mad. Y'all screenshot that. Y'all said how many pounds? How, how many pounds I weigh now? I weigh 183 pounds right now. I was 100. Uh, let me see. Uh, I was 150 something pounds when um, back in October, what, right around my um, separation. It's 150 something pounds. Now I'm 180 something pounds. You feel me? Shout out to Angie Bradley. Thanks for sharing. Bobby Holmes. Thanks for sharing. Uh, let me see. I told y'all I'm going to shout y'all names out. Let me see. Clarice. Thanks for the stars. Beautiful. Let me see. I'm shouting out people who shared. Tracy Orr. Shout out to you for sharing this stream, baby. Appreciate you. Law Cena, thanks for sharing, baby. Appreciate it. You shared it four times. Mm, thank you so much. Let me see. And Annie Thompson, thanks for those stars. Beautiful. Appreciate you so much, Queen. Let me see. Do the test. Let me see. Linda Farmer, thanks for the stars, Queen. Appreciate you. It's only one of the truth. That's a fact, Kimberly. My boy getting them gains. Yes, sir. Appreciate that, Praveen. I see you, bro. Trying to. Healthy. Got to be healthy these days, man. You never know what's coming your way, bro. People be plotting on you now, dog. You got to make sure you straight. That's why I tell y'all health is wealth, man. You got to make sure you good so when they try to come to you, you good. You can handle yourself. You can protect yourself, bro. Like, you gotta understand that, man. This is a different world we live in, man. You just be outside chilling. Um, Hallie, it don't it don't have a share button by your name. I'm not sure that you was able to share it. Patricia Shelley, thank you so much, man. Thank you for sharing this live too. Appreciate your comment. You said my comeback comeback is strong with the muscles. Thank you so much. Do that chest like it again, but do like what? 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 Like that? Do the chest like this again? That look, that ain't nothing. It's going to be even better in a couple more months because, you know, now I can actually work out. You know, I was sidelined when I had my second surgery recently. Now I'm back working out. So, I hey, appreciate that, Kevin James. You got to see somebody hating you telling them to get off my page. Shit, man, let them enjoy, man. They they they, they say hater stuff, but they really, love, they really love me. That's why they're here. You feel me? Just like this Irene Renee girl keep coming in here talking about my ex for some reason. I don't get it. For some strange reason, she keeps coming here telling me about my ex. She wants me. Whoever this girl is right here, she obviously wants me. That's why she's coming in here telling me about my ex. Like, I don't know why you come in and tell me about that. You on my page. You feel me? You coming to my page to talk about my ex. Make it make sense. Who? What? What motive would make someone do that is my question. If you want me to say something bad about my ex, you're on the wrong page. That ain't what I do. I don't move like that. I don't even care to know what's going on about my ex. So, like, what's the reason to come talk about it? Like, you're not going to get me to bash. That's not my thing. I don't do that. When I move on, I move on. You understand me? You know, the people that keep going back and forth and talking about their ex on the internet and all that, they ain't over them. You know, I, I don't do that. So... Keep that everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? Not over here on this page. This is the truth page. The official the truth, the real the truth, the, the, the GOAT. Robert Hampton is my government name, but y'all know me. The truth is very weird. Queen, you right. It's weird that they come do that. It's like, where you get these people from? Where these people come from? Are they aliens? Why do human beings act like that? I don't know why they act like that. Appreciate that, Vicky. I wish everybody nothing but the best. You understand me? I just want the same in return from people. That's it. Past, people in my past, people
people in my presence, people in my future. Just want the best for me because that's all I want for y'all. I want the best for everybody. So y'all ain't going to be up. Y'all can't do that with me. Y'all try that, but it don't work. Y'all realize that don't work over here on this end. I'm solid. I'm solid in real life. I'm solid for real. I'm solid in real life. I'm solid on the internet. It ain't no difference, bro. Like, I, if I rock with you, I rock with you. If I don't, just don't talk to me. Get away from me. That's it. You know, once you get into that cutoff circle with me, just hey, live and get it how you get it. You feel me? That's that's how it is with me. Y'all can't break. Y'all can't do that. Y'all can try it, but it ain't gonna work over here. Melissa Renee, thank you for sharing the stream, Queen. Appreciate that, beautiful. Delante Parker, I see you. Why we can't love each other? It's just crazy. That's a fact, Delante Parker. Thank you for sharing the stream too, Delante. Salute, G. Appreciate you. Thank you, Tammy. You said I'm, I'm, I'm handsome. You're beautiful, too, judging by your default. I see you. Tasha Carter, I see you. Don't come in here talking about no team the truth and you looking good like that. I see you. You better chill out. I've been celibate for a long time, trying to remain celibate, man. Y'all chill out. You feel me? Think about it. I've been celibate, and I still ain't on here lashing out and cussing people out. That tell y'all something right there, man. Self-control is my middle name. Y'all see the shit I be going through and I ain't on here rah, 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 cussing people out and all that, man. Man, that's for the birds, man. You feel me? Terry Dow, I see you, bro. I appreciate the love, Terry Dow. Man, you be showing love, bro. I be seeing you promoting all my older music and all that. I pay attention to the real ones. Salute to you, bro. Thank you. I ain't add nobody to my live. So somebody said something about me adding somebody. I ain't add nobody to my live. He said, I'm out because you ain't add me to my live. If that was the case, everybody would be out. I ain't add nobody to my live. Let me get on here and see how much I weigh right now. I got to let it reset. All right. Let me let y'all see how much I weigh real quick. Boom, 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 boom. 184 pounds, man. 184 pounds, man. Hey. Hey. And I'm about to shred it all up, too, back in the gym with it. Six pack, gonna be like. Boop, 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 boop. She said, my future ex, baby daddy. Don't be trying to curse me with no stuff like that. Don't be talking about my future ex, baby daddy. Don't be trying to curse me. I don't have that type of talk. All right, man. People want to come on. I'm going to bring some people on the live, man. Since y'all asking me to come on y'all, come on my live, man. You know me. I ain't bougie. I'll let some people come on here. I let some people come on here. It said failed. I tried. Hold up. Let me see you dance, girl. Drop it low. Drop it, drop it low. Let me see you dance, girl. Drop it low, drop it to the flow, yeah. If you can dance, baby, I got cash. Let me see you dance, girl. Drop it low, drop it to the flow, yeah. I'm trying to bring somebody on, but hey, I don't know what's going on. You might want to go to her live and give her it. Man, I ain't going, what you mean, go to whose live? Whose live I'm supposed to be going to? Who's her? Who's live y'all talking about I should go to? I'm, I'm on my live. Why would I go to somebody else's live? If you on my page, you can come on my live. Like, I would never end my live to go to somebody else's live. That ain't gonna happen. You feel me? That would never happen, man. I tried, Kelly. I don't know what's going on. Kelly, let me try one more time, Kelly. I see somebody named Candy trying to cam up, but you only got one follower. I don't trust that. 
I don't trust somebody with one follower. That might be a fake page. That might be one of my exes around the world trying to get on there with one follower and think they're going to get a chance to sneak peek at me and nah, 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 nah. Hey, uh, one follower, I'm not bringing you on here. Not with one follower. Not, that, that might be a new page. Y'all, y'all, nah, it's just like these dating sites where people be Let's acting like somebody. Hey. Hi. How, how you doing, beautiful? I'm okay. I'm in Atlanta. Huh? I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, me too, man. ATL, yeah. ATL. I grew here, though. You flew here. Huh? I said I grew here. You flew here. I drove here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. When you get your, I see your little tattoo on your stomach. When you get that? The fuck cancer. Oh, I got this one about maybe, maybe a month and a half ago. Okay, I love that man. Fuck cancer for real. I done lost so many of my loved ones mm. to cancer, man. They need to, they got a cure for everything else, man. They came up with a cure for coronavirus, man. What the fuck going on? That's crazy. That's their biggest, that's their biggest money maker. You feel me? That's their biggest money yeah, maker. Think about it. All the, all the treatments and things they do for cancer, that's their biggest money you maker. Feel, you feel me? They, but they you looking good. I'm, you looking good. You gaining your weight back. I'm, it's good to see you. I'm a big fan, man. Yeah, flex, flex one time. Real survivor, man. Flex one time. Big arm. <laughs> you hear me? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's hot out here. I'm over here on Glenwood. You know, give me some fresh treats. You got to come out here and get you some fresh treats. One of the best. Fresh, fresh what? Fresh, fresh treats. It's on Glenwood. It's in. It's like indicator. Fresh treat. Fresh treats. What's that? It's a restaurant in Decatur. Okay, yeah, I gotta check that out. That's so that's out there like close to Moreland and all that. More like Glenwood, Columbia Drive, and Candler Road. It's Cam in the hood. Okay, yeah, I know what Candler Road is. It's in the hood, but it's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I try. I, I can't. Man, you got me coming to the hood right salmon now. Salmon and some broccoli. It's got like tomatoes and the sauce, but it's really good. They can't. I can't come to the hood, man. They're gonna be trying to think I'm too popular. You, just, you yeah. can't be pulling up in that damn car and stuff, man. Just pull up normal. I ain't got nothing normal. And just be like, Bree, I'm with Bree. That's my cousin. They can be like, oh yeah, you good. All right, I'll make sure, I'll make sure I, I got you. All right. It was nice speaking to you, Me man. too. Appreciate you tapping All in. All right. That brings back so many memories, man. I know all about Candler Road and Candler, uh, what's that mall off Candler? South the Cab Mall and all, I know all about all that. I've been in Georgia for a long time. You said it's on Glenwood. Yeah, I've been in Georgia for a long time. I know about South the Cab Mall and all that. I ain't been there in a minute. Let's see what Jasmine talking about. Showing up your new nigga brings pain to me. You keep posting shit in your story, I hate to see. And I probably should block your pay, but you what I need. I'm still alone and you moved on to someone there. Y'all go help me run up them streams, man. On I Hate You More, it's on all platforms. Go help me run them streams up. No, I didn't know what a restaurant was that she named, but I know what Glenwood and, and the names of the road she said. You feel me? I don't know what, Atlanta is a big place, y'all. You feel me? For them people that be coming in here on that, on that, and they don't know nothing about it. Smith, Atari, let's come on here, Queen. Let's let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Hey, thanks for sharing the live, Crystal Wade. I see that. I see the sign by your name too. You said you said, "Bay me, Candy." I tried it, man. Oh, hey, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it in a minute, man. You better be somebody. I see you have one follow. I was kind of. I'm shaking on that, so I'm gonna try it one time, and if it's if it's not what it's supposed to be, that'll be the only time I ever bring somebody on here and I seen one follower on it. You feel me? So, as soon as something fly come out your mouth, talking crazy or something like that, boom, bleep, get up out of here. Ain't got time for no nonsense. Grown, grown man gang over here. All right, that one didn't work, so I'm, I'm going to try to cam up with you. I'm going to try to cam up with you. Let's see what's up. What's up, Candy? What's up? Thanks for sharing the stream.
You my man, and I mean that shit. And I don't, don't care nobody says, and I'm loving it. And I never love like this. That's my man, and I mean that shit. You my man, and I mean that shit. Man, put the camera on your face. And I mean that shit. Yeah, yeah. See, I told y'all about the one follower thing. I mean, I see, I talk, you see, you see, I'm a great judge of like shit. You see what I'm saying? One follower, and this is the type, this is what I got. I'm your man in the mean. Come on, man. At least show your face. I ain't tripping about how many followers you got, but we need to see your face. She said, y'all run everything that girl say. They do. Everything that girl say, man. She, she they, she's they God. I have to say that she is they God. She's their God. Everything she say, they confess to them. They just come hey. running over here. Hey. hey. How you doing? I'm doing great. How you? I'm great. I'm great. I just want to say I'm from Columbus. Columbus, Georgia? Yes. Okay, that's what's up. Yes. yes. So yeah, what are you going on in Columbus, Georgia? Too much killing. Too much killing. And I got two kids, and I keep my kids in the house. It's yeah. too much killing going on in, in Columbus. Man, keep them in the house. I, I did not know. I think they was playing my song on the radio in Columbus, Georgia. Oh, for real? Yeah. I know wow. Augusta and Columbus, I think it was in radio rotation. The song, Drop It Up. And I thought about coming there. I actually thought about coming in to perform, but then you just said that. That's crazy. so. People Don't just waste your money. Do not waste your money. I'm gonna tell you that straight out. I sang in the quartet gospel group, and we don't play that. Don't waste your money. Don't. So, so they what they be killing people at the clubs and stuff. Yes. Wow. Yes. All Thank over you. Columbus. You are very yeah. welcome. Appreciate you for letting me know that too. You're welcome. Be blessed. You too. Bye-bye. All right. Dang, that's crazy, yo. Columbus like that? That's crazy. Anita Pickett, get on here then. You, you, you gonna say that? I'm gonna bring you on. What's up? Don't be scared to come on here now, because I, I randomly pick people to come on. Don't be afraid to pick up. Yeah, you declined the invitation, so like, you see what I'm saying? Let me see. Thank you, Connie. What's up, Mr. LaTruth? What's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing, man? Put the camera on you and off the ceiling, man. Um, I actually thought that the camera was on me. How you doing? Doing good, man. How you I can't hear. I'm actually a barber instructor. I'm at my barber school oh, right now. I see you. Where, you. where you be cutting hair at? This is Dallas, Texas. You need to come to Dallas, Texas. I can't really... Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate your business. See you next time. Thank you so much. Did you tip your barber? All right. Thank you so much. All right. See you next time. Let me get back here. If I have a bad connection, I may have to step outside, but I'm going to try to get back here to my office. How you doing, Mr. LaTruth? Can you hear me? Yeah, I got what you said. I said, how are you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm doing great. Yes, yes. You look great. You look great. All is well. Thank you for accepting my um, invitation. I, I really didn't have too much to say. Um, I did want to say I am one of the bloggers on YouTube. And I do want to, um, I heard you saying the other day that you want a public, a public apology 
from people who, you know, have been bashing you. And I'm going to tell you, I'm one of the bloggers that were in the beginning were bashing you kind of sort of a little bit. Right. But um, this is my public apology to you. I, I don't know if you guys can hear me. I, I want to make sure that I can hear you guys. But I want to kind of put, yes, I want to kind of put the camera and let you know that, you know, um, I do, I'm starting to see things clearer now. I'm starting to understand things. And I'm understanding things from both sides. And when you do that, you get a clearer form. You get a clearer uh, comprehension of what was going on in the situation because it, it really wasn't nobody's business. Right. But since it's out there and everybody has an opinion, you know, I was I was swayed to one side. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm like, hmm, some of these things are not right. Some of these things, are the, the math ain't mathing, right. you know. Uh, and, and I didn't come on here to bash anybody or to take sides. Uh, but I do want to sincerely say, and uh, uh, and a, uh, a, a an apology to you publicly that um, I was wrong in what not I believe because sometimes you can't help what you believe. But I was wrong in my opinions and what I thought based on what another person was saying. When you don't fully have the size of the story, so. so um, I was wrong in that sense, and I do. I, I I can do a public apology to that. You know, um, I'm getting a lot of back backlash on my YouTube channel from um, that, that side that's bashing me for saying positive things about you. Yeah, See, and that's, that's, but that's that's how you can always when someone when you're being positive about somebody and you're getting a lot of negative stuff like that's a toxic. It's like a coat. It's like a coat toxic following, and that's all that is. Like they know what's true too. They know they already know what's up, but that's just what it is. They they pick the side, and they are gonna stay on that side regardless. They don't care how much proof. They don't care how much facts is put out there. So I mean, just, just stand in your truth. That's all I'm gonna say. Like whatever you've been saying now, that's bringing that type of stuff. Stay true to what it is. A lot of people have changed their content up to please a certain type of audience because they they can't take the pressure. But you always gotta stand in your truth. Don't don't change what you're doing or what you're saying to please the, the, these type of. And people. I'm gonna I'm I'm ask you something, Mister The Truth. While I have you on here, um, how do you do that when you're in the public's eye? You know, without using the word celebrity, how do you do that in the public's eye? Take the lashings. I mean, the whippings that that uh, is is trying to destroy you because it's so strong. Sometimes it seems like it's so strong. Go ahead. God. Faith. If you know the good word, as long as you treat people right, as long as you good to people, it don't matter how much they try to destroy you and break you down. God gonna handle it for you. You see what I'm saying? So you just get up. You just get up, stay positive, and do what you need to do. Have, have and this your business Easter like you're supposed weekend. to have your this business. This was Easter well. weekend for everybody. This was a resurrection weekend for everybody. For the world, for the universe, for the people involved, for different purposes, places, things, and people. It was a resurrection. And, and to to you know, for me to admit, hey, I, I was I was Jones on that, you know, three months ago, four or five months ago. I was believing this side. I was believing this team. I was riding with this. I was rooting for this. As a woman, as a single mother, I was rooting for this. To be let, let down. To be let down. To be let down and to see how you still stand and 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 another thing that's personal to me um you know i have one baby daddy three kids or whatever and he he was very masculine in your sense and you know i was like oh he's trying to control me he's he oh, he's he don't want me to do this he don't when in all actuality that man wants the best for you that man is there to protect you Thanks. 
that man is going to do whatever to make sure it don't no harm come your way and to pull you up that's from it. the bottom, which that's you used to be in it. That's how real kings move. Up, up, not down. That man is pulling you up. But you're looking at it, oh, he, he trying to be my daddy. He trying to control me. He trying to give me orders. And the world dealt with that. Yeah. Or or my consequences, you know, dealt with that because I was hot-headed. I was, I was hard-headed, hot-headed, wanting to do what I want to do. I thought my way was it. And I'm not saying that it wasn't. All I'm saying is with the help of the person who really cares and loves you and wants the best for you because this world don't want that for you. They're going to eat you alive. You know how how big this world is? Big. Thanks. Especially when you're a female. You need a man to protect you. But when you feel like your man's not even just your man, your husband, you vow for better, for worse, for sicker, all of that, to death do us part, you 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 step on the egg for that, for some, some old bullshit that you thought was greener on the other side. And now now it's not, and you wanna throw all these slugs, you wanna you wanna throw all these traps in the middle of the highway when it don't go like that. It don't work it don't with the like real ones like me neither. It's a long good. time ago. And it's hard to do that for females like us. It's hard to do. But but some people's solution ain't my solution. I didn't jump into another another relationship. I didn't do that. I would never do that. Out of respect for myself, you preach about self healing. How you healing? You already <laughs> publicly got to put yourself, got to put yourself and your kids first. And this is a generation. It's twenty twenty three. Your kids are going to see everything sooner or later. Your kids are going to see everything sooner or later. So you're not making it any easier on anybody that's involved and it's so unfortunate and you know it, it's, it's a sad situation because it's going to have to take something very very hard and strenuous to um get the attention of a person like that who's so head over heels over themselves that they don't see anybody else you have to go from selfish to selfless and it's going to be a tough road for that person to go from selfish to selfless so I want to let my students say hey to you right quick, Mr. LaTruth. This is Mr. LaTruth, y'all. This is actually Tupac. What's going on with you, bro? What's That's going Tupac. on, Clay? How you feeling, man? No. All right. That's Mr. LaTruth. Hello. Hi. Hi. I keep getting that money in there. I see y'all. Oh. Hey, come on in. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and finish class. Come on in, sir. How you doing? Go ahead and sign your name in. I'll be with you in one second. I'm going to go ahead and um, let you go with the live, but, um, you know, I, I do have a YouTube channel that I have been, you know, going, going with you guys, and I'm one of the ones who kind of came in at the mark where you guys were kind of going your separate ways, and I was very misled, and I have a lot of, um, you know, things on there that, that I was very wrong about, even though it's my opinion, you know, nobody's opinion can be judged, yeah. but uh, I'm so grateful that I had this opportunity. I'm so grateful now that um, not just me, but other people are starting to see things for what they are. Choosing my words carefully. I'm glad that people can see things for what they are. Um, and I, I, I hope moving forward that you keep doing what you are doing and, and just keep elevating and doing your thing. Don't worry about what nobody else is saying. Oh, Don't worry about what nobody else is saying. That's and, all right. That's and, all right. and like I said, like I'm, I'm, it's crazy. Like it, it's, it's so crazy. And, um, I, I can really look up to you and give you your props as a man, as a father, as a father, number one, you know what I'm saying? Because if you were really weren't trying to see your kids, that would have really been a situation to be talked about. We all know you love your children. You don't even have to put that on camera. This is something that's been going. That's what I'm saying. When you have a track rec record of something, Robert, don't try to prove nothing to the right now. Never will. Don't try to prove nothing to the right now. 
like you said, hey, if y'all just give me a public apology, say you sorry, you see, you see, like basically you saying, see, you see what I'm I told get you? it, it's opinions, like, you know, it's opinions at the end of the day, I know what's up, so I appreciate you coming in and giving that apology too, Queen. Did that, yes. did that, did that, keep doing what you do, we're going to keep supporting you, Um, hey, you have a lot of supporters out there, keep doing what you do, and I appreciate you bringing me on. No doubt, be blessed. You said, hurry up, her phone could die. I'm not, like, I just brought you on and you had the camera on the seven. I'm not doing that. Like, hold up. I'm trying to give other people an opportunity to come in here. Tarandis, Dennis, I got you. Let me see. Candy, next time. You know what I mean? Hello. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Not that. I'm at work. But I just wanted to get on here and say, it's some weird people on here, like, they all on here talking about your ex. You like who's her? They so talk. That's weird. Like, why do y'all join somebody live just to bash somebody? Like, that's that's weird. Talking to shit. You too nice. Cause they will be blocked and deleted. Like you too nice. This one shit. I'm too nice. Here. I'm she a been nice guy, man. The whole time, like she would have been blocked, deleted. You need some moderators. You know. Talk, talk, hey, talk to him for me, man. You know, yeah, I'm a nice guy, so I just be chilling, man. I need to hey, talk that shit. For real, because they be doing Because you're a female, crazy. like, they need to hear this from a female, like, because I can't, they need to hear I can't it really, from you it ain't nothing I can say, so you go ahead and talk to him. Go ahead, no, you, the floor. Talk, talk. you can't say it. You can't say it because you've been quiet for too long, but, so it's like. But it, but it comes off better. If you call them lame, if you call all that, it comes off better because you are a female, so. Tell them how lame it is. I can't it's, tell them. They ain't going to understand yeah, coming from me. It's giving miserable. It's giving you don't have a real life. Like, they act like they know you personally. It's weird. Like, I don't know you personally or whatever, but if I'm not going to like a person, I'm not going to watch them. Point blank, period. So, it's just weird. I'm just... I appreciate that, too, beautiful. You got the nose ring popping off. Oh, it looks good. Yes. Thank it's you. Good. Thank you, Swag. I see you. Yeah. yeah, these um these weirdos, you need to get rid of them. They crazy, hey man, they, they go crazy, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, I be seeing some of that stuff, but I be like, man, where are you from? I'm in Philly. Philly? Yes. Okay, that's what's up. Man. Hey, spread so, yeah. the word about the music in Philly for me. All I right? will. I'll be watching your lives. I'll be on here. I'm looking right now, but yeah, um, people weird. Candy, I don't know what's up with her. She like, um, I don't know, she like Amy, but she weird too. It's a few other people. And yeah, I do call people out because I don't care. But yeah, yeah you need to you need to get rid of them. And you should make some shirts that says who's her. Cause like who's her? Like who they be talking about? Because you don't even be worried about them. You feel I me? Like I like that. All right. You have a blessed night. Be blessed, man. Follow me on Instagram and underscore the truth. All right. All right. She's right, man. I know she's right. I'm a nice guy. So I'll be letting y'all, y'all be saying what y'all saying, man. It's cool. I know y'all be slick flirting too. Like, I know what's up. I, I know. I know exactly what be going on. Y'all be slick flirting. Y'all be slick flirting. I know. Hey, beautiful. I can't hear you. There's no sound. There's no sound. You got all these beautiful chocolate melanated women coming on here with the nose rings and shit. Ooh. Hey, there's no sound. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Can y'all hear her? Can y'all hear her? I can't hear her. Um, try to try to come try to call back in. I'm gonna see if I can bring you back in because there's no sound on my end. All right. Oh, now I can hear you now. Oh, you yeah. Can right hear me. when I was about to. Oh, oh my how God. You doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. 
Very You're doing great. You got an amazing smile. You're so beautiful. You. That melanin is popping on them, man. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to stand by the light by my window so you can right. see me. But I see you. Where you from? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay. You know, I've never been there. You have and you got to come through. What is it like? It's beautiful. It's cold, it's though. It's cold now? Yeah, it's real cold, but it's in the 70s okay. now, yeah. so. That ain't bad. That's good. Put the camera outside. Let me see what the outside look like. Uh, I don't know. Let me go outside. So it's kind of, it's a little uh, good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you gorgeous, man. You ever thought about modeling? I have. I actually have modeled since I was like 12. I'm 32 now. Uh -huh. I got my workout gear on because I was working out, playing with my kids. All right. Well, so. don't, hey, you got this, you got social media, man. Do your thing, man. It's, it's you definitely beautiful, man. Thank you, thank you. But I just wanted to come on here and say keep your head up. You're doing amazing. Um, I've been a follower for forever, but I stay kind of behind. Don't stay you know, behind. behind. I, I need all the I need all the love I can get. Like don't stay behind. Show that love, man. Yeah, so um stay positive and keep doing your thing. Um just keep doing your thing. No doubt. You're doing good. So, Appreciate it. Yeah. Have you been listening to the music? I have. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Let me see some reels. Let me see, you pass, girl. <laughs> Let me see some reels, man. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm shy, so I don't even be doing that really. But you can't be a model you know. and be shy. When I'm on that runway, I ain't shy though. That's the difference. Let's see, do some runways <laughs> to the music. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Real good idea. You have to check me out. For, for sure. Just tag me whenever you do it. I'll share you. I'll show love. Okay, cool. All right. Be blessed. Add me on Instagram at underscore the truth. All right. Appreciate the love, y'all. Appreciate the love. Yo. Deshaun Perry. Hi, Internet Bay, what are you doing? Good, man. I definitely want to say appreciate all the love. I've, I've definitely seen you vibing out to my I've music. been rocking with you since you first dropped, Look, you came with truth. I'm talking about before Rihanna, before kids, when you was on TV. I mean, I've been hitting you 10 years strong, easy. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? This ain't new. What you doing ain't new, baby. They need to know it ain't new, y'all. And I just wanted to say something quick, y'all. This I'm not bringing up nothing old, but I've been wanting to say this for a year. Y'all got to realize, right? If you really, really pay attention to the situation, I'm a, I'm a domestic violence survivor in real life. I was shot at. I had my jaw broke. I done had, literally, it's no game. Jumped on for no reason. Uh, anytime anytime I, it, I was an Ike and Tina situation type thing. He was in the military. He had mental problems. So I was the person who took it out on type thing. So um, I'm lucky to be alive today so it, it bothers my soul sorry for went through that too it bothers my soul for your situation the truth let me tell you why if everybody pay attention before the tools tote situation didn't you get a phone bus first mm -hmm. didn't you get a laptop bus yeah this is all off per her life so i'm just asking you to clarify it didn't you get jumped on yeah didn't you get pepper spray yeah. and all of that happened before the tote yeah. okay y'all have a nice day. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Get that. Don't negate that. Nah, you came on with my finger. What happened? Yeah. Oh, right. my, was the situation about um your phone? Yeah. What, phone. What, the girl was in your phone, right? Yeah, it's my phone. Your property. She wanted your property. Yeah. Got upset because you wouldn't give her your property. Facts. What's your second? property that's your for other phone was your all, second all, every one of them the, the, the pepper all of that happened before the tote i'd have been dead hey that's on my kids you speaking you speaking some real shit so it's like y'all definitely appreciate you coming in and saying eyes. that because there's a lot of people who not intelligent enough it's, to it's understand, so. crazy 
to me. It's just crazy to me that, that you know, it was the tears. So was he supposed to cry when he got his phone broke first? Was he supposed to cry when he got pepper sprayed? Was he supposed to cry when he got it when he got his laptop broke? Was he supposed to cry when he got jumped on? Was he supposed to cry when the police got called on him? Was he supposed to cry when the, really? Mind you, all, all of that happened before. Oh my God, my fingers! Your head should have been knocked off if it was to me. It's right after right after um surgery. I just had my stomach removed. Literally, I was one hundred and fifty pounds. Wasn't even in the in the in the in the, in the physical capacity to even hurt her. <laughs> in real life. You know what I'm saying? I take my hat off to you, man. Thank you, you so know, took much. took a lot of ridicule. Thanks for the love. God, uh, God love you, though. That's we on you. I got your, you got your back, baby. All right, man. Be blessed. <laughs> I love Thank you, too. bro. <laughs> Be too. safe. Appreciate the love, Queen, man. She's always supporting the music. She's been a solid supporter for years. Man. I can't say, I mean, you know, I can't say nothing, man. Like, y'all heard it. And y'all know it. Y'all already know it. Y'all just be, you know, they just be trolling. I know what's going on. Let me see, man. I'm about to get up off here, though, man. I want to end this one on a good positive note and say appreciate all the love and support. Everybody share this stream. Don't forget to go download the music. My music is on all platforms. Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, YouTube. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Ladies, y'all continue to do those reels. Help your boy get his music pushed further. Again, I'm doing this as an independent artist. You know, it ain't about who's the most talented or none of that. It's all about who got the most money and what labels is going to spend the biggest bag on your stuff to be promoted worldwide. That's all it's ever been about for the people. Y'all don't know that. So I appreciate it, man. I know my talent is there. I'm going to have an R&B album coming for y'all ladies, man. I know y'all been asking for more music. Um, new movies coming, new skits coming. I don't look like Tupac, you feel me? It's only one the truth. That's what this live is about. It's only one the truth, you hear me? So y'all check out the music, it's on our platform. Search La Truth, you know? And I love y'all, man. Thanks for tuning in, man. Prayers out to all of y'all. Make sure y'all pray for me. Health is wealth, don't forget that. And show love, you know? A lot of y'all want to know what a person needs. I see so many people on my timeline. Telling me what they think I need, I'll tell you what I need. I just need love. That's it. Just show me some love. That's it. I ain't asking for nothing else. Just show love. The truth. Peace.